Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wild Hearts. This, I believe, is going to be episode seven. Maybe, I don't know, I'm beginning to lose count. But, um, yeah, a lot of stuff happened in the last episode. We struggled quite a bit. We're going to continue struggling. Although, maybe we actually unlocked a couple of weapons. I haven't touched the game pretty much since the last episode. So, the main quest right now is listen to what the townsfolk have to say. But to me, the most important thing is this right here. I want a bathhouse, my dude. Kogyok-san has been very good to me since I ended up here in Minato. Always being her dead. Oh, so you're not gonna open up the bathhouse, bro? I thought that now that I turned on the karakuri, we'd have the bathhouse. I want to chill out at the bathhouse. Okay. You. No. Every single karakuri in Minato is working again. I cannot believe it. Did you have a hand in this? No, it wasn't me. Of course I did. I hear you came back with some big game. You're like a shadow of my former self. Bro! You know that? I I'm serious. My man going like, oh, you're like a shadow of my former self. Bro, shut the hell up. Put the smack down on you, dude. What the hell? Oh, I've actually never come up here. What's going on here? Oh, is this like under construction or something? Anyway, now I can do this. Hey, hey, and fly around, baby. Boop. I can now I can now conjure Karakuri. Hi. The town alive again with the hum of Karakuri after all these years. Longevity lets us see so far into the looking glass of life. I think that she's supposed to be pretty important, so I think I'll take her request. Oh yeah, see we even get a dialogue here. Dear hunter, have you heard the unfortunate news? of the corpse found along the Blossom Trail. They have identified the poor soul at last. A fine young farming fellow. Such a waste. It was a customer of mine who happened upon the tragedy on his way to Minato via the Harvest Canyon. And now he comes under suspicion. There is no doubt in my mind that this is the work of Kimono. Yet not all appear to agree. Because it's hogwash! Dansuke wasn't killed by any Kimono! Welcome back. Is my account really so hard to believe? It makes no sense. Dansuke had some of the fastest legs in town. There's no way he would have let a Kimono get him. Besides, I happen to know he got into a fight with someone from your store the day before he disappeared. If you ask me, you lot did him in, and then tried to make it look like the work of a kimono. Interesting. Do you have any proof? No, but Kogyoku isn't one of us. She and her Crimson Treasury patrons can't be trusted. You see what dreadful ill will befalls me? Could you possibly investigate the matter? A hunter's eye is what we need to see if this really was the work of Kimono or not. Or so say the skeptical few. Waste of time. I'm sure these snakes will have covered their tracks. But go on. Be my guest. Dude's big man. I leave it in your ever capable hands. In the meantime, I believe there's also a quest around. Oh, what the? What is this? I believe there was also a quest around here. Georgie's diary. Who's this? Wait, what the? No. Are you the hunter who went to the Spirit Isle? The one who made the wheel turn? 
You made Ji-san so happy. I want to say thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Ji-san said it used to turn back in the day. That's before I was born. And he said it was a really big thing when it stopped turning. He tells me lots and lots of stories, you know? Oh, like the one about a huge tortoise on the spirit isle with coral on its back. Jason used to be a merchant, and he told me he saw a piece of its shell for sale once. Do you think there really is a kimono like that on the island? Could you go and have a look for me? Oh, looks like we'll do this one too, because this one's going to be a new monster. These dudes are practicing. Oh, this is pretty cool. He's depressed. And that makes me depressed. You're not thinking about jumping, are you? I wonder if I can jump all the way there. No, they're probably not going to let me. But I'm going to have to try. <laughs> Nope. Invisible wall. <laughs> There's the forge. I think I'm gonna head over to the forge. Uh, oh. I think we need to talk to you. <laughs> What's going on here? All the karakuri suddenly moving. New forge, new weapons! temperature in the hearth. That would mean I could forge various materials I couldn't forge before. So I'll be much more used to you now. To everyone in Minato, in fact. The times I've tried and failed to get all the things in this forge working again. Most of this equipment has been gathering dust. But now, it's had a new lease on life. Minato could thrive again. Like in the old days. And it's all come about thanks to you. I honestly don't know how to express my gratitude. Nothing I could say would be enough. Just... Arigato. Thank you so, so much. Now that the Karakuri are all working again, I'm eager to gather the materials I need to make these little ones of mine really shine. And it's got me thinking. There's this old hunter's camp up on the highlands to the north of the Blossom Trail. I've passed it a few times when I've been out looking for materials, but since no one's been using it, it's fallen into disrepair. If we could whip it into shape, I'm sure it would be a useful base to head out hunting from. Which would be good for both of us. What do you say? Do you want to fix up the old camp together? Sure thing. <laughs> I'm ready to stronger and sharper. That's what you're looking no, for. No, I, I still can't do it. Oh man, I'm so sad. Wait, I I have unlocked these, but uh, let me see. Oh wow, this is actually a lot of damage. This is way more damage than the one that I have right now. But I need a Grit Dog Iron Nugget. And there's this one. Speed Swallow. Speed Swallow. Oof. This one has like negative... What is that? Probably crit chance, I would imagine. That's why it's got so much raw damage. I think I'm gonna keep mine, to be honest. This one feels just fine. It's, it's like... I do want to... Oh my god. This one's deal so much damage though. Sheesh. Anyway, I'll figure that out later. But for now, I think we're still doing fine. I'm just sad because like I wanted to... I wanted to do a new weapon. Can I thought I we were service? finally going to get it. Have a think about Let's which see about of the my monkey armor. You're most interested in. Oof. Blaze recovery, fleet foot. Boost attack for a while after a sliding dodge. Verve. Lose attack and defense when at max health. Blaze recovery. 
Stealth Art and Fleet Foot. Okay, the one that I have is still like one of the better ones. What I do want is this as well. That's gonna require another Spine Glider Horn. Ooh, I think that's about it. Well, we'll see what we do with that. Uh, what else do I have right now? I guess that's it. Uh, what do we have? Head to the Haragasumi Way. So this is going to be about repairing the camp. Okay, so we can go do that, or... We have the true culprit. Yeah, this is the place that we have to go to. I even know where we're supposed to go to, because I, I saw that camp and I had already planned out... Wait, what? What is this? Seems like it's a whole nother new section of the map. Interesting. Okay, and we have all of the side quests here. We have True Culprit. What about the turtle? Oh, the turtle thing is just about getting shells. So I'm actually not supposed to hunt. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I say we do True Culprit first. Search for clues with Danseke met, met its ends. We only have two cards for this one. We're going to get King Tusk Hide, which probably means we're going to be fighting a King Tusk, I would imagine. So... The news is that Danske, a member of the Guild of Farmers, has perished, though it seems very likely that that from Kamano encounter his friend, Hikobe fervently feuds that. Skills hunter being called upon to uncover the truth. Head to the Arasukumi way. Search of clues. All right, then. Also, that was a patch today. I mean, not today as in the day that you're watching this video, but today when I recorded, because this is being recorded long in advance. This was a patch that came out before release. I'm wondering if performance is slightly better. Very curious. True Culprit Part 1. So this is going to be a multi-part quest as well. Interesting. So let's see. Where am I supposed to go? Here? Oh my. That young man is nothing but trouble. Who the hell followed me? Could I find him and make sure he comes to no harm? Yeah, sure, I guess, right after I beat the crap out of this King Tusk. Well, at least now he knows it's Kimono! Okay, we're good. Like we're dealing way less damage than usual on this one. Not sure what's going on with this King Tusk, but he doesn't feel like a normal one. Also, I didn't eat because I'm an idiot. Good. Even with a fully charged umbrella? That's the damage I'm dealing? What? Okay, I need a new weapon. I definitely need a new weapon.
Okay. Holy crap. That was insane. Okay, what do we have here to eat? Uh, let's go for... Do I have the shiitake shrooms? I don't have a lot of good things, which kind of sucks. I guess I can eat some of this. Whatever, and a little bit of this. I'm just going to eat for some random stuff. Oh, how far did he go? Damn, son! All the way up there? It's a good thing I set up a camp there. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. Okay, bruv. Let's go have a word with him real quick. About why he's so friggin' tough all of a sudden. It's almost... Maybe I'm, like, misinterpreting or something, but it almost feels like we just went from low rank to high rank. Because I feel like my I was doing way more damage in King Tusks earlier. But I could be wrong, I don't know. It's like I don't really get to pay too much attention to the numbers on the umbrella because they're usually so small before you actually charge it up. Oh, I'm getting robbed on these parries right here. Let me go ahead and see if I can grab Hunter's arm here. Yep, I'll take that. For now. What you gonna do? Oh wow. Okay. There's some flying karakuri there. Because he broke up the structure. Wait, where is he going? So he's running all the way. He's gonna go there. I don't have a camp there. I need to set up a camp closer there. So that I don't have to run there when this happens. Do I have anything that's a little bit closer? Well, this is a little bit closer, so this will be faster. Now, you know what I need? Would be like from here, like one of those vine things. Maybe? I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab this. He feels a little bit stronger than usual, but I'm not 100% sure. It could just be me. I already have a decent amount of Krakuri. Uh, let's try to go in from above. Really, dude? You're gonna go ahead and break my stuff? That's messed up.
guess he agrees when he does that. Dude, but I feel like I'm not dealing anything. I remember hitting him for like 60 damage when I had a fully charged umbrella. So I don't know what the hell is going on with that. This one's a little bit meatier than usual. Either that or that patch that we received today heavily nerfed this weapon. One of those two things happened. Because this is the first King Tusk that I've played since the patch. I wonder. Maybe it's the water damage. Maybe the fact that this one deals water damage is actually a bad thing. Oh. Bamboo shoot's gonna be the death of me. Get some more karakuri. Charge me, you know you want to. He always gets me with that. Oh no! Oof. That was going to be very dangerous. Go. What the hell? Bruv! Come on! Come on! There it is! That's what you get! Pound it into the dirt! Technically speaking, it's almost like I'm still a hammer man. Am I right? Rare King Tusk Seed, Basara Kimono Blood, Attack Talisman. Should check on my talismans. But yeah, this one felt way tougher than usual for some reason. I don't know. Stop. I knew I shouldn't have come. I'm going back to 
Using Minotaur! Okay. Looks like that's done. Are these all busted up. Look at the things we did to this creature. We busted them up good. I need to set up a shop here at some point. Set up a camp. Just chill out. I think that'll be good. Whee! The frogs croaking and stuff. I wonder if we just get teleported to where we accepted the quest to, to kind of like do the, the final bits. I am so terribly sorry. I had no idea this customer here would follow you. Lucy! I had to make sure everything was above board. Yeah. How heartwarming to see you back again. One of you, at least. May I know the outcome of your investigations? Definitely the work of kimono. It was a kimono attack for sure. Well. More lies. I mean, even if Dansuke was mauled by a kimono, that doesn't mean he was murdered first. Why do you suppose he would have been murdered in such a place? Who said he was? He could have been killed and then taken there to make it look like a kimono did it. And yet, so many traces of a struggle remain. My, the assailant was careless. <sighs> right? If you are so sure, that's what happened. What kimono was it? If there are so many clues, you obviously know. Come now. Even you must have heard that no one in Minato has seen the likes of what this beast left behind. Because it wasn't a kimono. No. This was the work of humans. Dude's pissed. Dear, oh dear. And an unknown kimono at large. How troubling. <sighs> Okay, there's no other side quests in that case. I mean, there's plenty of side quests for me to do right now. Like, all of these are considered side quests. But let's do Hiragasumi Way and see if this... Uh, let's see if this helps us get to... Get to that story bit where it unlocks the other weapons. Right, let's get this new camp set up. We should aim for the highlands to the north, just beyond the Sakura Cave. Yeah, I've been there. I also want to reposition this one, but I can do that off camera. Because, like, spawning in here and having the tick King Tusk all already on top of my ass, that was annoying. This little camp I really like. It's in a really good position. But I was already planning on doing a camp up there. Regardless of what she said. So, we're headed here. Thing is, I'm going to assume we're going to find a kimono along the way. Because otherwise, why would, even, why would they even make this quest? Let's check the dragon pit real quick. I always check the dragon pits I sneak by. I don't even look at which materials are required. It's mostly just like, oh, can I do it? I'll do it. Can't I do it? Oh well. It should be around here. Well, don't you worry. I have like a little tower. What? Cut a kuri to help us find the camp? Are you crazy? Oh no, here it is. Use the hunting tower to find a suitable place for camp. No, I don't need it. It's right here. 
See, look, it's right here. Oh, I'm gonna kill this one. Yeah, I think they might have actually nerfed the umbrella. Because they said they did some balancing patches. Oof. I'm gonna swap weapons because, like, this damage does not feel good compared to the damage I was doing before. Look at how much it takes to kill this freaking herbivore! Like, freaking 50 attacks to kill this damn thing. What? You're crazy. It's completely unreasonable. Here we See, here it is. Then. Let's get to work. Oh, you want me to set up the camp here now? Well, you're putting me on the spot here, because usually I like to take my time, set things up appropriately. But uh, let's see, where would I place a tent here? I think it'd be good right about there, right between those two trees. I think that'd be a nice spot for a tent. See, I like my, my stuff to kind of just like blend in a little bit. I dig it. So we'll have... I am not, because, like, if I'm going to be doing this, I mean, we got to go all out. So the next thing would be to do a campfire, which would be right about here. Because you want to have a campfire that kind of, like, brings the the smell of your food into the tent. That's the way that I think about it, anyway. We're going to want to have a tower as well, but I don't need to do a tower right now, because I have a tower, like, right there. That tower will cover this whole section. So that's not really a big concern. Uh, actually, I don't know if I need to do much else with this one. Oh, yeah. The camp's coming together nicely, I think. Time for a break, maybe? Sure. <sighs> we can have a chat while we catch our breath. You came to Minato from the west, didn't you? Along the mountain path. Yep. That means you must have walked right around the foot of the sacred mountain. That's right. Isn't it a very difficult path? Hardly anyone uses it, and I'm sure no one maintains it. It was a sacred place for the hunters of old. Much like the Spirit Isle, I think. But I've never heard of any settlements or tracks that way. I suppose the weather's too inhospitable. Sometimes you see clouds of kocho fluttering around the mountainsides, though. Sounds creepy. I suppose it is. I mean, they're very pretty, but you're right. They're called Eternity Ringlets. That particular type of kocho. I suppose because they gather by the injured and the dead. In the old days, some people even thought that humans and kemono turned into kocho when they died. <sighs> anyway, ready to get back to work? <sighs> Let's get this camp finished off. Okay. <sighs> Let's leave it there for today, shall we? <sighs> Another one? They're getting very frequent lately. Big Rocky Boy. Oi, we just made this camp. Don't make me go in there and beat you senseless.
Am I supposed to hunt that? Assuming not yet. I'm gonna need some beefier weapons for that. Maybe you can unlock the, um, the Karakuri staff, huh? How about that? Unlock them weapons. Really? Hmm. Interesting. It was like a moving mountain. Honestly, I've never seen such a huge and terrifying kimono. It reminds me of something I've read in the records from centuries ago. A giant kimono ripped across the land. The castle, the town, the people, all were swallowed in rock. Ah, the legend of the Earthbreaker. If this is the same creature, it would explain the frequent tremors we've been experiencing recently. Even the strange behavior we observed in the other kimono could be traced back to this giant. All my life I've lived in Minato, and I had no idea such a kimono lived so close. Well, kimono only stray outside of their territory in exceptional circumstances, and they rarely show themselves to us. Remember, all kimono, no matter how big or small, are sustained by the same energy, celestial thread. And since that's why we're able to extract it from them, then they have no need to wander in search of it. But that, why has this kimono? Uh, could it be because there's no thread left in its territory, perhaps? Yes, that's my hypothesis, too. I believe our giant is hungry due to some great change in the flow of thread in its environment. Now, we recently flooded our town with celestial thread by restoring the Karakuri on the spirit island. So, unfortunately, we've made Minato look rather appetizing. But that's terrible. That means this kimono is going to expand its territory this way and swallow us up. I wish I could fault your logic, and I'm afraid we can't reverse what we've done. I had a nagging feeling that something might go wrong, but not this wrong. If only I had investigated the possible outcomes more thoroughly. No one's to blame. None of us could have anticipated this. We didn't know anything. <gasps> Wait. Didn't you say you'd encountered this bear once before? Heading from the sacred mountain towards Minato? Yes. Oh. So that means it comes from a habitat to the north. And you're saying it was on the move even before our work at the ruins? Hmm. But no, we don't have time to be pondering the pause. We must decide how to act, and quickly. Then we defeat the Kimono. Are you serious? Yeah. I realize your hunting skills are exceptional, but no single person could dispatch a beast of that size. You want to bet? Even if everyone in town pulled together, the best we could hope to do is give it a nasty surprise to begin with before... No, come on, Suzuna. You owe it to Minato to fix this. Think now. Hmm. Going along the Harugasumi Way, its enormous bulk will mean it has to descend into the river. If we can position Karakuri along the bluff, we might be able to defeat it before it hits the town. I think that's the only workable strategy at this point. I'll talk to the elders about preparing the necessary karakuri. What I need you to do is buy us some time. Without a chance to prepare, I'm afraid we're doomed. Hmm. I wonder if I could. Sorry, I need to go and test something. Meet me later at the forge. It's going to take all we've got to overcome this threat. The town needs your help now more than ever. Believe me, I'm doing everything I can think of. What do you mean? You're sitting in your chair reading a book. It's all going to come down to a good plan. Anyway, I was just thinking about something. Can you guys see the parallels between this Earthbreaker and Zora Magdros? We're gonna have to set up Karakuri. Oh! Okay. <sighs> I see what you're doing there. It'll be interesting to see what that particular mission looks like. So let's see, do we have any side quests? No, oh, there's a hunter quest, so let's go to the forge front. Uh, 
sorry to run off in the middle of a conversation like that, but I had an idea that couldn't wait. Okay. I'll come straight to the point. I need some kimono materials, and I need them fast. I started playing around with some new innovations after all the karakuri came back to life, you see. And I think I might have come up with a weapon we can use to fight that giant kimono. It's clearly a rock kimono of some kind, isn't it? Did you notice how its body was covered in deep crevices? And how Kocho were fluttering around those parts in the same sort of way that they swarm over the corpses of Kimono or their wounds. Well, if those crevices are wounds too, they could be weak points. And with my new weapon, we could target them from the ground. Which is why I really need those materials. I'm basically after a large quantity of iron sand. More than we have time to dig out of the ground. But I've remembered that Nobu mentioned a rumor about a kimono that scatters iron sand. I'm sorry to be asking yet another favor, but do you think you could help? That goddamn. The, you mean the first creature that carted me three times? That we one? We can't live in Minato anymore. Where do we go? We don't have anywhere else. It just so happens that I already Whatever have that stuff. How very convenient. You've got them already? This is exactly what I need. Arigato. I should be able to put the weapon together now. Is it gonna be the cannon? It won't take long. This is a matter of personal pride. I'm going to make the greatest weapon you've ever seen in the shortest time imaginable. Blacksmith's honor. I really don't know how effective my weapons will be against that huge creature. Report to Suzerain. What the hell? How didn't I pick it up? Come on. All right. I did what she asked. I don't remember the last time I was this busy. But at least we're more or less ready now. The Karakuri are being installed as we speak. Along the route, I predicted the Kuninarashi will take, following the old Blossom Trail. It's somewhat hobbled together by people working outside their areas of expertise, but it's the best we can manage. I've had to work the carpenter's fingers to the bone. But everything should be in place the next time the giant Earthbreaker stirs. The Crimson Treasury has supplied an assortment of forbidding items, too. I'm a little curious as to why Kogyoka had so much gunpowder in stock, to be honest. Still, ignorance is zen, as they say. Best to just accept it graciously and avoid asking too many questions. Yes. I know the wretched creature is only searching for sustenance, but we have to protect our own interests and lives. This is a battle we cannot afford to lose. That's why we pulled out all the stops. But now, it all falls to you. I'll stop that thing. I'm delighted to hear you sounding so confident. Perhaps the new weapon Natsume has developed has something to do with that. Still, anything could happen out there. Make sure you have all the right equipment in full working order. Oh, and Togahime wanted to speak with you. I suggest you show your face before we're plunged into battle. Okay. Togahime. Messed up. Sploosh. Good job. Wait, how far away am I? Oh, Togahime is all the way up there? Oops. My bad. Whoa, 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 dude. Uh, okay, I can't go this way. There we go. Hey, stop looking at my ass. I don't want to be objectified. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, I've never been back here. Your efforts put me to shame. 
They yeah. will be laughing at me now, in what should have been my family home, delighting in their decision to exile me here. Wait. What is this? Report a hunting success. Long may Minato benefit from your exceptional hunting skills. Oh wow, there's a ton of these. Okay. These are like points or something, I guess? Okay. Mm -hmm. There is so painfully Wait, head out to battle. No 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 I see the citizens are expending every effort for our town. Yet you are charged with the most onerous task. Are you ready for the battle head? Not quite. Then please make haste with your preparations. We may converse later. I didn't realize that this is already like hey it's boom 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 go 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 because uh you know I also have to take a break because I don't want to like just jump into this at the end of the episode. This is like it's going to be a big battle against the Earthbreaker. So that's going to be in the next episode. So thank you all very much for hanging out with me for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification icon, all of that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.